Now, attending a funeral is not something most of us would look forward to, and organising one is surely even more traumatic. But for one Coventry lady, it's second nature. She's been a funeral director for more than 30 years, and although she's just celebrated her 80th birthday, she's still working. Andy Bevan has her remarkable story. I've often said it that funeral directors are born, I don't think they're made. You've really got to have that caring inside you and to put everybody else before yourself. Muriel Grimmett has spent most of her life dealing with other people's death. She was one of the first female funeral directors in the country and she's just celebrated her 80th birthday. In the funeral business, Muriel is a legend. I have been told that, yes. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> no, it, it, I can't get over the fact that people have taken to me as, as a lady doing the work that I do. Losing a loved one is something no one wants to think about but everyone has to face. Rebecca Davis's husband Bill has just died aged 79. She and her family are meeting with Muriel to plan his funeral. Muriel must guide them into making some difficult choices. We've got to make a decision about the coffin yes, yes. and um, this is the brochure that we show you. I have got an idea. I already know what I want really. Really? This one here uh, and I want it as it is. Just as it is with the flowers exactly. on the top and flowers around the yes, sides. Please, yes. Muriel was born in Coventry on April 30th, 1931. Her parents couldn't afford to send her to grammar school, which ended her dreams of becoming a nurse. Instead, she worked as a shorthand typist, and at 20, she married Gordon Grimmett, whose family were half of Grimmett and Tim's. Gordon thought the funeral business was no place for a woman, but during a holiday in Tenerife, everything changed. He died very suddenly, and folks said to me, well, what will you do about the business, Muriel? And out of instinct, I said, I'm going to run it. And she did, tripling profits, modernising the fleet of cars and gaining a reputation for excellence. She sold the firm to a national operation when she was 65 and stayed on for a time but decided it wasn't the same and retired. Then, six years ago, Muriel met Darren Lloyd, who was starting out in the trade as an independent. We got on very well, we had a cup of tea and a chat. He said, would you like to do a few funerals with me? And to me, it was like a gift from God, really. I thought, yes, please. It takes 20 years off me. I feel very privileged and very honoured that people trust me to do this. She has to retire at some point, but I think she'll just slow down and do fewer funerals to start with, and then obviously, eventually, she, she'll say, well, enough's enough. But I can't see that happening for uh, maybe a couple of years yet. Shall we go round and out, or just go in and then come down here? You, yeah, you can cut through. Uh, and then into Farcroft eventually. Yeah. Are you locking up or someone no, else? Boy, okay. Dead, dead following this all right. And you've got all the other service sheets yes. for us. Yes. Oh, do you put them, do you? Yes, our staff will oh. put those out for you. You know how the time flies only Yesterday was the time of our lives We were born and raised in our summer haze Bound by the surprise of a glory day. You'll like to just you're going to wait here yeah. and then you follow the coffin as we okay, go through. Okay. Okay. People say, well, how do you do it, Muriel? How, how can you? Don't you become used to it? No. Every family is different. Every family is unique with different needs. And for the person that's died, you hear the lovely tributes to them. And I often think, oh, I wish I'd known that person. They don't have to be famous or a legend. <laughs> they, they are just ordinary folk, and I think they're the salt of this earth, really. And made to feel special, even though they're no longer here. But that's something Muriel also extends to those left behind. Right from the word go, she was wonderful. Everything about it. I didn't have to worry about a thing. She took care of it all. 
She was the guiding light. Come in. And despite what you may think, even the funeral business has its share of things to smile about. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. I think I would have liked to be a nurse, but uh, it's a similar caring role, isn't it, really? Andy Bevan, Central Tonight. Muriel Grimmett, and she's got a lovely dignity about her, mm. hasn't she? And we would like to say a special thank you to Rebecca Davis and her family for allowing our cameras to film a very personal and private occasion.